Hey guys, welcome to today's um, Instagram live and Facebook live on how to make lecto fermented balimbing bulo. So I just hold on. Let me just get my balimbing. Okay. So I just got this whole bunch of um, balimbing bulo, and I was gonna make my lactate fermented balimbing bulo. If you watch my if you follow my Instagram stories and my Instagram feeds, you always see me eating this with almost every meal. Yeah. Let me hold on. Let me just go and uh yeah. It's kind of late. I'm not used to doing like late IG lives and 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 um, Facebook lives, but um, I had just a really long day today, and then but I really wanted to get this done, and I thought like it would be perfect to just share with you guys how I did it. So um, here, oh yeah, just in case people are watching me for the first time, I'm Raw Chef Yin. I am a raw vegan chef based in Malaysia, also author and TEDx speaker and now doing online videos. So, okay, this is the, the lacto-fermented bulimbing bulo that I am going to make today. And um, I like to have this in my dishes because it's got live natural probiotics and um, this helps a lot with boosting immunity. And um, during this situation, everybody's trying to boost their immunity. This is just like a really simple recipe. It actually comes from my book called Fun with Ferments, which won an award. So initially, I think last year, it won um, the award for uh, best in the fermentation category in Malaysia. And then now worldwide, it's won number three third place in the world yeah uh can you do something good and easy for sahur mm, i wonder what's good and easy for sahur okay i'll think about that and see so hmm maybe an overnight oats yeah something simple i know i have made a recipe well it's not my recipe but it's somebody's recipe yeah, we could try it. I need to get the ingredients though. Yeah, that's the thing. So, I will consider that. Thanks for your um, request. Um, okay, so the first thing I'm going to do is some part. So, this one I have actually soaked already. Um, I have soaked this in filtered water. Then, uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to poke it. And then I'm going to pop it into this Fido jar. So if you had watched my... And then now I'm just trying to peel off. Because you know there's some of the, the these black spots here. Yeah, so I'm just going to peel that off. Um, yeah, this is... Some of it is nice and soft already. Yeah. Um, so it's just a matter of like piercing holes with a fork through it and popping it in and then making a brine and uh, making a brine and then um, letting it ferment this is like super easy and super simple it's just a matter of where can you get these right because um, there are some trees in my area yeah so I just got it from the trees no one's eating them there are loads of them around so yeah, and they're all like falling on the ground already. So I was like, don't waste them. Because if you eat it on its own, it's like really super sour. That's the thing. So after you ferment it, until it becomes in this in this form, then after that, it's really nice. Yeah. Actually, I took out some of my other ferments I wanted to show you. So I think after I do this, then I'll answer some questions. Some people had some questions about um, this. This is the red, red cabbage. Um, sauerkraut which I taught during my free online class last weekend so I'll answer the questions on this 
and then um, I also taught you guys how to make cut dugi as well. I hope you didn't. I hope you managed to catch that catch that session. Yeah. Um, and then this is kimchi, which tomorrow I will teach. Tomorrow, um, I well, I'm, I think I'm gonna do it at eleven thirty a.m. Yeah. I know you guys want like a fixed time, but um. Yeah, I think let's fix this for 11.30 a.m. tomorrow. But just look out for my... I'm going to do it on Zoom. So if you guys want to get the Zoom invitation, please sign up on my mailing list. Email list so that I can send you an email giving you the Zoom invite and also the Zoom password. Because I know some of you are concerned about, you know, privacy privacy issues and all that so I've read up on what other precautions to take um, yeah so there's gonna be a password the the meeting invite is always gonna change numbers it won't be always the same thing so yeah oh this one needs cutting Hey, Gun, hello. Good to see you. Ah, so for those who are on Facebook, um, Gun, who is my student, has been doing loads of YouTube videos on vegan recipes. So do go check her out. Uh, I think her YouTube, I don't know what her YouTube address is. Gun, you can type in your uh, YouTube channel there so that people can go and watch and learn how to make. Uh, I know there's Korean and then is there is there a bread recipe or something? I know there's like loads of Korean stuff because I love Korean. And um, I think there's also like a video on how you make ramen as well. So that's pretty cool. Cool. Yeah. Uh, what else is there to talk about today? Mm, well, basically Saturday and Sundays because it's weekend, I will be teaching. So tomorrow I'll teach you how to make a cabbage kimchi because I I've been wanting to make my cabbage kimchi for a long time, maybe a week, two weeks. I don't know. Yeah. So tomorrow I'm finally gonna have time to do that. Because yesterday I taught a karabu class uh, on shoku iku. Yeah, that's like um, a very famous raw restaurant in Australia. They invited me on um, their channel to, to uh, as part of their free online learning experience. Oh yeah, actually you guys, if you're on Instagram, go check them out. If you haven't, um, they're doing free cooking classes this whole week so it started on Tuesday and it's going to end on Sunday and um, today there was one it was very interesting there was this lady who was also a natural path and she was talking um, yeah about all these ways to um, keep yourself mindful keep yourself healthy she also talked about fermentation so this is one of the um, this is one of the ways as well to boost immunity and keep yourself healthy during this period. Um, and she also gave a, she sh a very quick free recipe on how to make mung bean pancakes, which is really interesting. Like, I was like, wow, you know what? I made mung bean tempeh. So maybe I can make like the pancakes tempeh turn into pancakes. I don't know. Maybe I'll try that tomorrow. But then tomorrow I have to teach kimchi, so I don't know whether I have time or not. Oh. And then I'm also going to put in, uh, put together some free recipe cards for my email uh, subscribers um, because I taught the karabu class. So I said that I'm going to, I have a few karabu recipes. So I want to put them together in like a nice recipe card collection. So you have a whole collection of uh, raw vegan karabu recipes. So I, I plan to do that this weekend. I'm also working on an ebook collaboration with um, it's called I think seven days with seven chefs so I'm one of the chefs 
uh, I think I'm the only one from Asia. Everybody else is, you know, from Canada, from US. Um, and uh, so that's something I need to edit and proofread the recipes. I've already sent in the recipes and the... Uh, I've sent in the write-up, I've sent in the recipes, I've sent in the photos as well. So right now, all that's left is to do the editing. Oh yeah, I'm supposed to send it to Ken as well to have a look. But yeah, so I need to send that tonight. So that's what I'm going to do this weekend and work on that as well. So I'm, I'm really excited to let you guys know. I mean like to be able to share the book because I've seen like the sneak preview from all the other chefs and it's so exciting and it's so interesting so yeah that's really cool okay cool so we've like poked pierced holes through the bulimbing already now what we need to do is add, make a brine so what I'm gonna do is add my recipe for this very simple brine and I don't do calculations I'm like I'm one of those who actually don't do calculations some people are like, huh, how can you not measure and weigh and all that? I was like, well, I've been doing this for five years and it works for me, so I'm just going to do that. Um, yeah, so it depends on which teacher you're studying from, I guess, you know. Okay, so I'm going to use one tablespoon of Himalayan pink salt to... I hope I have enough. Yeah. Oh, the other thing I always wanted to do was try and ferment with ferment with um, celery juice, but I haven't done that yet. I keep saying I want to do it, but I haven't done that. Oh, let me just mix this up. Okay. So we're just gonna mix it up until it gets dissolved. I most probably need to use like two cups of brine because I think one cup is not enough. We'll pour it in then you can see. Can you guys see? I'm still trying to figure out like the perfect, um, yeah, the perfect angle to do all these online cooking demos and Facebook experiences and all that. Yeah, because my, um, I actually don't have a proper tripod, so I'm just like leaning it against, I'm backstrapping and bootstrapping it. Is it backstrapping? No, bootstrapping. <laughs> Not backstrapping. I think the IG, like, the IG one is quite nice right now, right? But I don't know about Instagram. <laughs> the big pancakes. Yes, good view. Okay, that's good. I can see. Yeah. Alright, so I am going to put in, yeah, I'm going to put in another cup of water. But you know what, I'm just going to see whether there are any questions. Uh, let's see on Facebook, are there any questions? I'm supposed to do this watch party thing and I keep forgetting about like, do a watch party! Um, where's the live? Okay, can't see this. I'm trying to see if there's any questions. Ah, I found the live. Okay. Um Russia Start a watch party. Okay, I am going to look and see whether there are any questions here because sometimes it doesn't come out on my iPad, strangely enough. Start a watch party. Hmm. Oh. Ah. Okay. Party time. Okay, I finally know how to start a watch party. I feel so noob. 
Do people still say noob nowadays? Or is it like not an in thing to say anymore? <laughs> Comment, see more. So do I have any questions? Feed me, see more, feed me. Okay, I'm on the wrong page. Stay on this page. Okay, Union's watch party, no. Hey, cannot. Oh. Right. Okay. I can't see um how do I do this? I'm trying to see what uh Rory Bisco got killed. Connie Jones. Very nice angle right now. Okay, good Connie. That's good to know. Okay, yeah, you can see all my different ferments. Let me see if I can put in one more ferment so you can see it here. Ah, that's all the ferments. How cool. Um, yeah. Ah, okay. Now I finally see the comments. I see Juan Gun. I see Good Life with Gun. Check out Shoku Iku. Tempeh Pancakes. Madu. Narayan, thanks Madhu, thanks Connie. Okay, all right, I think I've answered, I've seen all the questions here and let me come over to this side. Sorry, this is gonna look strange. Hello, hey, cool raw chefs are joining. Hey, Naki, Angie, I always watch your stuff, you know. Um. CKL Salem, hello, 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 Santa View. Oh, you know what? I'm, I'm. <laughs> this is okay. I'm just gonna see if there are any questions here. Yeah. Hello, Stelta. Hello, hello, Woo Woo Tree. Hello, Shin Mei. Hello, Cook and Walla. Hello, but Botox. Veggies from Mars. Hello, Stephen. Hello, Tripta Aswani. Hello. I, I know is no is Hiral Doshi Zato Lokina. Hello, Yulia goes raw. Hello, Simling. Hey, hi, Simling. You're my student. We think plant based food. Hello, MSA. Hello, Liang Chen. Hello. Ah, let me see if I can pin this. Oh, um, Asamat, can you try and type your thing again? And I'm going to try and pin it again. Cause just now the pin thing, Kapongji, what are you making? I am making a lacto fermented bowling bowl. Yeah, and I'm just gonna try and pin it again, or maybe um Alice can pin it. Yeah, I don't know why. Like when I scroll up, I get hmm. Okay, anyway, hmm. It says three people only. I thought so many people joined. How oh, weird. All right. Uh. Let's do this thing. Okay. All right. Um. Ah, there you go. Let me try and pin this. Are we pinning? Are we pinning? Hmm. Nah, I can't seem to pin it. But thanks for the hearts. The feet SG and Chef. Theresa Ray join. Hey, hi Chef! Okay, alright. Keep up the go. Aw, thank you. It's late here in KL, but yeah. Okay, um, yeah. So I'm just gonna create a bit more brine here. So another cup of water. Um, and I'm gonna put in the Himalayan pink salt again. Yeah. So what do you guys ferment? Um, I'm sure there are people here who also ferment stuff. Yeah, this is like one of the simplest recipes in my book. And this is something that I make. I used to make it like every week or every other week. Well, whenever the tree has, um, the trees have the fruit. Yeah. 
there, there was a noni tree nearby and then they just cut it down unfortunately so that's such a pity uh, oh yeah uh, everything i can <laughs> i know what you mean there was one time yeah i i would just permit anything and everything that i could um yeah that i could get my hands on yeah that's that that's really funny that sounds exactly like me yeah so okay i'm using the fido jar because that's like the easiest and I never ever got around to get um buying crocs. Uh Connie is soon also tempe, yeah. So Connie took my um online tempe class. Um and I know Fariza and Fariza made hers already. And Rita also made hers successfully. Ah so you know what? Um I'm just using so we need to keep these submerged in the brine and the way i'm doing it is uh just very simple because at that time i couldn't find any proper uh, i couldn't find like um fermentation weights so i just bought these um sauces it's supposed to be lead free sauces and then i just put them inside and i just make sure that it gets submerged and then yeah and then you just cover it up um let me write the date down as well so I know. Okay, what date is today? 17 April. Wow, it's April already. Wow! It's been one month since I came back from the US. 17 April. And all my live events got cancelled. But I'm going to have some like interesting online events coming up actually you guys should um for a paid workshop and a cook along i'm gonna i may be uh i will start doing like zoom cook along sessions so let me know what is it that you would attend for a paid workshop yeah what do you think that you would pay money to learn how to make and then um yeah i can suggest it to the organizer i've been invited to do it i just need to figure out what recipes I want to do and also just I'm, I'm trying to familiarize myself with Zoom that's why I'm going to be doing the two Zoom classes on Saturday and Sunday as well but yeah so this I'm just going to leave on my counter yeah um, depending <laughs> it depends on my mood sometimes I leave it for five days sometimes I leave it for seven days sometimes I just look at the color as well yeah because it also depends on like how um I like to ferment my things a lot like for a really long time because I like like really intense crazy flavors, um but I guess like once I finish eating this and you know in four or five days this will be ready then I'll eat this yeah oh I don't have much left though but then I do have the others as well so yeah yeah so that's that does anybody have questions about this she yeah <laughs> she just says clever okay. Um, Jen, you said you fermented cherry tomatoes. Ooh, I should do that. I love fermenting cherry tomatoes. I used to make like loads last time, and then I like to put it in my mouth and you pop and then you get the fizz. It's so fun. Yeah. Okay, the other thing I'm gonna do is, uh, oh, you know what? I'll just leave this here. I know I had some questions. Let me check out. Ah, I can check out the questions here. Somebody asked me a question. Um,. Where's the question? So someone said, um, I watched your fermented purple cabbage making the other day. My cabbage bottom one not mushy, but upper one mushy. Is this due to the weather? Okay, so let me show you. This was the one I made, I think, a week ago. I made this on either Saturday or Sunday. Uh... Ah, I already used the spoon. Let me show. Yeah, this is cabbage. Ah, I have to use this spoon. So I try not to use like metallic spoons to when I'm dealing with my fermented stuff. So I actually wanted to use my wooden spoon, but I didn't want to mix this up. So, oh, I could have used this because this was just the brine. Duh me. Okay, I, I'm not a night person. By this time, it's like my brain like cannot focus anymore because it's a... Uh, is it 9? Yeah, it's 9. See? I think by 7pm or something like, I shut down, so... 
um, yeah, this is how it looks like right now. Yeah. And um, if I were to taste it and bite on it, mm, it's not mushy. It's really nice, the taste. It's actually crunchy. Yeah, let me get another one. Ooh. And it's so, um, it's very, very appetizing. Hmm. So, yeah. So, I think what happened for you, the person who asked me a question, I think is what, if it's mushy, I think what happened was your cabbage was not, when you massage it, you most probably didn't, not enough liquid came out. And it wasn't submerged underneath, you didn't press it down enough. And you didn't weigh it down enough. Because if you watch my video, um, I used the cabbage core and I also used the shot glass to keep it all inside so it's all weighed down. Yeah, so that's the reason why yours is mushy. So don't eat the mushy part, though, but the ones that is not mushy is fine. And then she said the bottom one, sour taste. Though, though, is this edible? Um, this is sauerkraut. It's supposed to be sour. <laughs> and it's fermented. So it's sour. It has to be sour. This is sour. This is sour. This is sour. Um, this is kadugi. It's also sour. They're all supposed to be sour. Because there's going to be the presence of lactic acid. Right? Because that's why the fermentation happens. And it's actually very good. It's good for you. It's good for your health. So yeah. Um, and I just checked with my two German friends. And they were like, yeah, sour. That's the point to sauerkraut. And then one German friend. Oh, actually really interesting. Let me read it out to you. Yeah. Because I was like, okay, let me just check with my German Friends, people. I mean, I've ate loads of sauerkraut. I mean, when I was in the US, on during my US trip, I also got some raw sauerkraut. It was really nice. When I was in London, I also had you know um, lots of sauerkraut as well. So I know what sauerkraut tastes like. But I'm just a bit confused when someone said like, ah, oh, it's sour. It's like, mm, uh huh. Sour is the way, man. Uh, oh, Jacqueline Day. Hello. Nice to see you, Jacqueline. Okay, um, yeah, okay, here you go. What does he say? Sour isn't a standardized expression like spicy. There are several levels of sourness. Yeah, yeah, so even if you measure and state the exact pH value of sour crowd, people react differently, okay? But yeah, Andreas is like, that's exactly the point. So yeah, so I hope that answers your question. I thought I had a question on tempe. But I think I answered the lady already. Let me check. Let me see. Tempe. Um, <laughs> Russia. Sorry, I can't seem to go in. How weird. Yeah, well, well, I won't. Um, I won't answer the question then because I can't find the question. Uh, okay. Do you use miso in your brine? No. Let me think. Um, do I use miso? I'm trying to remember. Like, what do I? Oh, okay. Madu for. For um, miso, I have made like a uh, fermented raw vegan bread and I've used miso in that. Um, I've also made this avocado dish where you um, cover it with miso the day, day before and then you put it in there, you, you put it in the fridge and let the miso all go in into the avocado and it tastes amazing, it tastes a bit like cheese. Um, yeah, but in the brine, no. Do you? Would you do that? Because it's just salt and water, that's all. And then, um, 
there's actually just like naturally occurring bacteria inside as well you know on uh, especially on the vegetables and all that so just let that ferment on its own yeah mm. yeah i'm trying just to see whether there are any other comments da, 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 da. so there's zoom classes tomorrow Okay, Kate. Okay, great. Kate, I answered your question. You finally found us here. Good. Very good. And um, yeah, so I'm going to end here because I don't have any other questions. I just wanted to say like, so um, just to recap tomorrow, there's uh, Saturday and Sunday, there's going to be um, free Zoom online cooking classes, but you need to get the password from me so please sign up on my mailing list for instagram people go to my link tree and the link is there for um facebook i think i've already put the link there if i haven't then um asama will put the link there um yeah and if you really cannot find it can you just comment on this you know for facebook just comment on this video and i'll put the link there as well and then um, my fun with ferments ebook is available for sale. It's seven US dollars only. It's like the cheapest um, ebook in my series. If you want to learn more how to make all this lovely fermentation, fermented food for better health, for better gut health, for better immunity, for more nutrients and more vitamins, you can get that book. And then um, the tempeh course, my course. Uh, it's an online self-paced tempeh course, how to make tempeh from scratch that is also available. And um, for Instagram, again, it's on my link tree and on Facebook, um, it'll be in the comments if you haven't seen it or just, just ask for the link on the comments. Yeah, or oh, just ask for a link. Okay, so uh, I was told it gives extra, mm, haven't tried myself, wondering if you have. Uh, I'm trying to think. I'm wondering whether you know what, Madhu. I realized something. Um, yes, I I know that I have one book, and the lady she who she makes her kimchi, she does put miso inside, but I haven't. But you know what, miso does give extra oomph to everything. So even like um, ah, sometimes in like sometimes when I make chocolate, I put a bit of miso. Uh, I have a bread recipe in my fun with Asian. Uh, fun with Asian raw food and I also put um, miso in it as well I really like that and uh, what else like um, when I make salad dressings and all that or sometimes I just put miso right on top of my salad and I eat that as well uh, yesterday if you attended my karabu class I also use miso and I also use miso for my um, raw vegan sambal belacan recipe and that one you can uh, you can check that recipe out in um, my cooking show called Delicious with Raw Chef Yin is there as well yeah Connie Dress, hope I can see it on the replay way too early for me yeah Connie I will put the replay on if I can get the video up today I did the oh today I did that tempeh um, I did that azuki tempeh azuki bean tempeh truffle recipe it was on zoom i'm gonna put the video up it's just that i have some problems with the audio i don't know why the audio didn't sync but the videos will be up i know i have a, like a whole backlog of videos right now that need to be uploaded so hopefully um yeah i need to schedule my time properly and then put that all up as well yeah madu naram miso rocks you know madu I have been talking about making miso for years and I still haven't. Uh, the other day I was, tr um, I wanted to order koji. I just haven't ordered koji yet because last time they told me I can get it. In, I had to get it in Singapore. Um, but when I went to Singapore, I couldn't get to that shop to get it, the Japanese shop. But now I, I understand that actually in Malaysia, you can also order the koji. But miso is like, I think you need to wait for at least six months or something like that. I saw the chickpea miso a video by Melinda and it's like six months. And then another friend, she made, she waited for like a year. And I also need to get like the, the miso containers. 
Yeah, but I really want to make miso. I bought this book. I'm still waiting for the book to appear. The the delivery. Uh, it's called what? Miso tempeh natto and other tasty ferments. Um, I bought it through book uh book depository. I'm still waiting for the book to arrive, and then I can start making my miso. But actually, I attended this fermentation summit as well, and they also taught how to make it as well. So. Yeah, I've been attending a lot of classes and courses and I need to, I, there's so many things to make. And then I want to make my cheese again, my, my vegan camembert and I've been talking about that for like weeks. But I need to order more cashews first because I'm like totally running out of cashews and I couldn't go out. So yeah, so that that's how it is. Yeah, alright. Oh, so nice to see you guys. Thanks for joining me here. Um, this evening in or this night in KL um, and I'll see you guys tomorrow at 11.30 on Zoom yeah make sure it's on Zoom yeah I might go on IG live I'm not sure about that yet but definitely Zoom all right then thanks guys bye okay let's do this one by one let's do Instagram first hi Robert we are ending now so I'm just gonna um, yeah, I'm just gonna... Hey, Kelly! Good to see you! I'm just gonna end and then... Marissa! Hi, Marissa! Great to see you! Yeah. Sammy Zoon, Vegan Kaisu. Oh, Kath! Hi, Kath! Nice to see you! VN Life at Work. Zaki. Yeah. Soon also Tempe. Okay! Alright, I'm gonna end here and you guys can watch the replay. Are you sure you want to end your life video? Yes. Please let me save. I tried to save earlier on and it wouldn't let me save away. Yeah. Oh. Oh dear. Okay, I think it's going up. I hope. <laughs> So um, you guys can watch the replay, yeah? Thanks so much. Stay safe and be well.